Hey guys, welcome back to the show. In this video, we're featuring an older, tiny little Shih Tzu named Cinnamon. Guys, I was really struggling to clip her nails because she's so wobbly on the table. And in a lot of cases, clipping nails is a two-man job. So what we're gonna do is have Anthony hold her while I have two hands free, and we're gonna show you how we clip her nails. Okay guys, so Anthony is now holding Cinnamon and supporting her. Uh, these tiny little Shih Tzus are very used to being held, so a lot of times they're just more comfortable being held. Like I said, I just wasn't comfortable um, you know, with her wobbling all over the table. So now that Anthony's supporting her, you can see how you know she's just comfortable and it gives me a, the, the ability to use both of my hands in this, which is really, really important because I don't have to worry about holding up the dog and clipping the nails at the same time. So with that being said, you can see how Anthony is just holding her and supporting her. I'm actually gonna start with her back leg and you can see how this nail is just really curled over here. So I'm using cat nail clippers and I'm gonna try really hard guys to not hit her veins, but if I do, I have some quick stop on the ready and we'll, we'll deal with it. But a lot of times it's hard to not hit the vein on a dog like this. But there's that one clip already. And you can see how Anthony's holding her up. You know, he's supporting her. So she's very, very comfortable. And again, I can use both of my hands, which is crucial in clipping dog nails. I'm gonna try to go through this fairly quickly, guys, so that she feels more comfortable. We can get her back in the cage. The importance of having an assistant is crucial sometimes, guys, because sometimes it just takes two people. So I'm actually gonna position Anthony a little and just turn his body this way. This way I can get a better angle. And uh, we do that a lot. Uh, Anthony holds the dogs a lot for me. I'm under here, I got that little dew claw. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna grab this right away. Because it's just available to me. I'm using cat nail clippers, like I said, guys, because so, they're smaller and I can get them in there. The dog nail clippers are just too big for this. And the nails are very, very soft, so I'm trying to be really, really careful here. See, this one's just all hooked on, under, and I have to come above here like this to get it. And then, you know, you can cut the excess off there. Again, I'm trying not to hit her vein. I don't want to hit her vein. And look at how she's just curling up into Anthony's neck here, you know, because Anthony is really doing the bulk of the work here because he's keeping her calm, and that's the important thing here, guys. Um, so, yeah, sometimes it just takes two people. Like I said, I was getting too nervous clipping them by myself because, you know, she was wobbling all over the place, and... Uh, I didn't want to hurt her, and I still don't want to hurt her, but it at least allows me to hold the foot instead of trying to hold her up with my left hand and clip the nails. Um, you know, you could see how, it, you know, using my left hand here is so crucial in it. So Anthony is just acting like that extra set of hands for me. So this is the hardest one here because Anthony has to change his position now. So. He's going to just lift her, and this way it allows me to get in here and clip the nail. And you have to be careful, like with a biting dog in this situation, um, the worry would be Anthony's face, because he's holding her so close to his face, right? So if a dog is a biter, um, you know, you may have to muzzle because you don't want someone getting bit in the face and sometimes dogs will just react and they'll just go for whatever they can just to make it stop. But she's not that at all, so we're not even worried about that. She looks like she's falling asleep. She's so comfortable. And so far we didn't hit the veins and I'm really gonna try not to, guys, but bear with me. I don't wanna hit her veins. You know what, I think I might just call this one so I don't, let me get it a little further. Okay, okay, Cinnamon, I'm sorry. All right, guys, that's all we're gonna do. Um, we got them back, we got them away from the pad, and you know, she's more comfortable now. This poor little girl, 
I think cinnamon's about 15, 16 years old now. And uh, like I said, they're so used to being held that in a lot of cases, this is what you want to do. If you guys are professional dog groomers out there, you know what I'm talking about. You having an assistant is just crucial because it makes it safer, it makes it easier, and we can get the job done a lot better rather than risk hurting the dog because they're wobbling. Or a lot of times they'll wobble right off the table and get hurt. So in this video, we just really wanted to show you the importance of Anthony holding cinnamon. And like I said, Anthony does this a lot. He helps me out a lot. And in a lot of cases, it's the small dogs that you're going to need this on. Doing bigger dog nails are a little bit easier. It's the real small guys that you tend to struggle with because you just can't hold them and do the nails at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it makes sense. I hope it helps you. And thank you so much for watching us. And we'll see you in the next video.